Okay, we are moving on to area. Hopefully you've matched, mastered perimeter by now. And perimeter is the outside of something. And per, per, no. <laughs> area is the inside. Okay, so when we know how to measure the outside now. Now we need to figure out how to measure the inside of something, okay? These are flat spaces. This is not the inside of like a human body. Like that's a different kind of area. <laughs> All right, so today, how is finding area of a figure different from the perimeter of the figure, okay? Unlock the problem. Connect, you learned that perimeter is the distance around a figure. It is measured in linear units or units that are used to measure the distance between two points. These are the type of units, guys, that you use with a ruler. We're not using a ruler for the rest of this. Area is the measure of a number of unit squares needed to cover a flat surface. A unit square is a square with a side length of one unit. It has an area of one square unit. So it's like if you have one of those tiles, those square tiles we use in class. That's a unit and you can use those to measure area. Okay, so if you look here, it has a unit square over here. And so that's a unit square. And down here, these are also a unit square. Now, this is one unit. The perimeter is not going to be the same, though. The perimeter is not going to be one unit. The perimeter is going to be one, 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 and one. So it's four units, okay? So the area and the perimeter are not the same, or if they are, it's very rare. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to try and figure this out using a dot chart. Usually I would give you a geo board, but right now we're just gonna use a dot chart. Use your geo board to form a figure made from two unit squares. Now remember, this is not the outside, but this is like the whole square. Record the figure on your dot paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one unit. You see how it's just one of the squares, but it wants us to make two. So it's gonna look a little something like that. It also can look sideways. And that's okay as well. So that's two square units. Change the rubber band so the figure is made out of three units, okay? So instead of two, we're doing three. And this can be a bunch of different ways, which is kind of fun. So one unit, two units, three units. Or one unit, two units, three units. You see how that's not straight and it's not a rectangle? That's fine, because it's three units that are connected. What you cannot do is draw something like this. That is two separate things. This is two units and one unit. You need to have them all connected to make something that is three square units together, not separate, okay? Also, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're following the dot line correctly, okay? So this is one side and this is one side. If you go too far and you get messy, it's gonna be hard to see your units. So you can't just go quick and go, oh, yep, that's it. Because now you're in the middle of things, right? And it'll be hard to figure it out later. It'll be hard to count the sides and whatnot. Okay. So try this, draw three different figures that are each made from four square units. Now there's a bunch of ways to do this. Just like I said, there were a bunch of ways to do the last one. I'm gonna do one that's a little bit fun and then I'm gonna let you guys figure out the rest. Four square units. All right, so here's one. How funny can I make this? Two, three, four. That's mine. And you guys can make two other ones that are have four units. One, two, three, four on the inside, okay? How are the figures the same and how are the figures different? So the figures would be the same because they all have the same area, but they're different because they're different shapes. All right, and for the bottom here, shade each unit square in the figure shown. 
Count each unit square to find the area, okay? The area equals the number of square units, okay? So for this one, I shouldn't have done that. How many square units do we have? I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make all the squares. I know that seems like a lot of work, but it really helps. So this is one, two, do you see I'm labeling it too? Three, four, five, and six. So how many square units is this? It's six. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing on these ones. Go in and draw all your lines in and then label them so you don't lose count. This one is also six. I'm gonna have you do three and four on your own. White, write a perimeter or area for each situation. So you have to think, is it the perimeter, which is the outside or the area that we need? Buying a rug for the room. Do we need to know the perimeter or the area? We're gonna know, need the area. Putting a fence around the garden, we're gonna need to know the perimeter. And your math quiz is gonna be very close to this, okay? 